There it there is. There it ah. is. Man. Steven Spielberg back in action. Back in action with Ready Player One in theaters March 29th, man. And we got one of the big stars um, that's with us today, man. And this guy is one of the critically acclaimed. Big as in, he's I'm weighing big. about two. I'm weighing in at 256 right yeah, now. Man, yeah, man. He's right. been eating a lot. The one only TJ Miller is back. Yay! Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Ready Player One and then the Deadpool 2 uh, trailer. trailer just dropped yep. this morning. Yeah. And, man, I've watched it like 10 or 15 times. Yeah. I just love it. It's so funny and so good. And, uh, yeah, I think the movie is just going to be – it tested better than the first one. Wait, so which one? We're talking Deadpool or Ready Deadpool Player 2. One? Yeah, Deadpool yeah. 2? Yeah. And Ready Player 1, I mean, people have absolutely loved it. I mean, I, I think people – it's one – you know, even Spielberg himself says, this is a movie. This is not a film. It's a movie. And I, I rewatched all of his stuff before I worked with him. Yeah. Um, because for some reason – like, I've done so many movies where I never read the script. Mm -hmm. Like, I just agreed to it and then show – because I riff a lot of my lines anyway and uh, and so uh, I, in fact in Ready Player One I wrote a lot of the lines uh -huh. but um, I went through and I watched his entire like lexicon of work and I it's not that I don't like Bridge of Spies or Lincoln or any of that stuff like those are great films uh -huh. but I just always liked his movies like I just I, I like when he does his blockbuster stuff wait wait wait, wait. Cool what's stuff. the difference for us uh you know, um, you know well, I think for, a I think, film and a movie. What's the I, difference? I think, I think for him, a film is something that, like, you know, like Lincoln. It's like a historical, you know, period piece, or it's 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 just a little bit more sophisticated. It's not a popcorn flick. Yeah. And Ready Player One is very much like in the wheelhouse of Back to the Future and Goonies and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. They sort of said that it captured the essence of Goonies, uh -huh. and that was one of my favorite things in the world. But it, working with him was really interesting because I've known him for a long time, and my wife uh, and I actually um, have known him for years. His wife's name is Kate also, and uh -huh. also an artist. She was an and, Indiana Jones. Um, and, uh, and, uh, and, and, uh, Trivia voice. Yeah, <laughs> trivia voice. <laughs> uh, and, and so it was just interesting to finally work with him and work for him. And man, you know, it, you immediately the first day understand why he's so good, and it's his energy. I mean, he just he kind of he comes in and he says hello to everybody and talks to yeah. everybody. And then the first thing he said is w when we started shooting, he was like, "All right, we're making movies. We're we're reliving our childhood." Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, is he's never negative. So if you do something that he doesn't love, he'll be like, okay, a little bit louder, a little bit more color, a little faster to it, like give me a little bit more here. And then the second you get it, he's like, that was great. That was a great, that was perfect. That Will you circle that one? Print that one. Now, of course, we're shooting on digital. <laughs> Remember but he's like, he's like, print that one, print that one. Circle that one. That was fantastic. Let's do another one just like that. And then you can do whatever you want. But oh my gosh. And so you can feel how kids, ooh, I gotta be careful with my well, slide what trombone. Just, what here. is that, bro? So um, I bought a slide trombone, uh, and I do not know how to play the slide trombone. Get a, get a B ready. Get a B I'm, ready. Hold I've, on. I've never, yeah. Uh, but have I ever, have I, you ever played live on radio? I bought. I've never played live on radio, but it's incorporated in my stand up right now. And um, it's. I think it was because I was high and I own a slide whistle. Uh -huh. I'm the type of person. Uh -huh. And then I did a Canadian tour, and I was like, let's let's pick it up a notch from slide whistle yeah. to trombone. But I am the type of guy that carries a, a train whistle with me at all times. Damn, let me hear you. <laughs> but the side, the side, the side trombone. Yeah, yeah. Give me a little beat, and I'll, I'll play a little. Give him bit. a little beat. One to drop a beat on him. Well, hold up, chain? man. With, with the chain you got when you was high, too? No. <laughs> Are you kidding? This is my life savings. They wear it around my neck. My wife wouldn't trust me and put it in a bag. You got a new chain and an yeah, old-ass no, shirt. It's, it's a yeah, Byzantine. <laughs> this shirt I've been wearing for three days. I can't afford any shirts. This is a 300-gram Byzantine chain. All right. All right, here we go. Okay. CJ Mill on the trombone. I didn't even know where to point it. No, 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 yo, all right. I know it is pretty terrible, isn't it? People paying to see that shit? No, absolutely not. Sometimes they ask for their money back. Pull the whistle back out. Uh, <laughs> well, that's yeah, that's give me that beat. I can really do something with the train yeah. whistle. Right. Mm. Oh, no, no. oh, oh okay. Hey, dude, you are yeah. so talented. I just, yeah. <laughs> 
I just moved to New York, and so I took my first train to a gig because I'm doing stand up at Levity Live this weekend in West Nyack. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, seven thirty and nine. I think on Friday, and then uh, I love Levity Live. Yeah, man. it's great. That's it's a beautiful it's a place. Really, yeah. really great County. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> really, all right. They well, got I'm chicken wings. Up right, you said chicken uh, wings. Chicken wings. And really so, so I took a, a train for the first time. <laughs> mm-hmm. To um uh to a gig because I just moved to Greenwich Village, uh-huh. and um uh and as the train was pulling out of the station, I went, <laughs> <laughs> and I swear to God, this got this dude turns around in the car that I was in, and he goes seriously, <laughs> and I just looked him in the eyes and was like, yeah, seriously, oh chain and all. I was just like, chain when. First of all, when when is it more appropriate to play a train whistle than when a train is pulling out of the station? And so, yeah, I just stared him down, and I'll tell you what, he turned the fuck around. He saw the chain. He knew. Well, it, it wasn't just the chain. He knew. He knew. So, yeah, Ready Player One and Deadpool 2, he goes right back into the promotion. Uh, I just can't help myself, guys. I'm sorry. So, But I, I got I to, got yeah, this is my favorite place to be. I mean, I, I was up, I, I love Raw Dog Comedy, obviously. Oh, those are family right there man uh, yeah yeah they're yeah, great yeah, yeah, much yeah. better than cook dog comedy um, and uh <laughs> i don't get down with that that's a korean station so, uh, oh. uh, and so <laughs> the bad the bad kind and uh and so uh i want to i want to share a spielberg story because it was so weird and i think you guys will think it's really funny tj miller but so we were uh on set and Spielberg does this thing where if he doesn't like, you know, how it's going, he'll operate the camera himself. And Damn. if it still doesn't work, he, and this is real, he'll go, okay, I think this is a Cheetos moment. And someone will run in and bring him a bag of crunchy Cheetos. Okay? <laughs> I, it's so strange. And then he'll eat the Cheetos and almost always it works. And I think, you know, I think Bay and Wahlberg and Spielberg, like people don't tease them really. Uh-huh. But to me, I'm a jester, so I feel like why not kind of tease them. So I was like, so was that a Cheetos moment? It worked. And and Spielberg's like, yeah, absolutely. Oh, and I always call him Steven Spielberg. I guess say his full name. So I'll be like Steven Spielberg, thank you so much for having me in your film. And I got to tell you, Steven Spielberg, I'm really excited to see this. Um, you're one, Steven Spielberg. You're one of my favorite directors. <laughs> and uh, so then I, I, we were. I was watching Ben Mendelsohn, the villain. I was just kind of. I, I went and I wasn't working, but I was watching him. And it was another. He, he had another Cheetos moment where he was like, "Okay, I think this is a Cheetos moment." And I was like, "Uh oh, Cheetos, Cheetos. We need Cheetos in here." And he goes, "He goes. You know what? Bring TJ a bag of Cheetos also." So I was very excited about that. <laughs> I said, "Thank you, Steven Spielberg, for getting me a bag of Cheetos as well." <laughs> Spielberg and um, and so they brought us both cheetahs we're both eating them we're talking and then there's like this pause we're waiting for the, them to move the cameras around and it was the strangest most surreal moment I've ever had in Hollywood and it's that we were just sitting there both eating cheetahs and then uh, Steven Spielberg looks at me and he takes some cheetahs out of his bag and puts them in my bag Aww. and then he just looks at me and I did not know what to do at all. Damn. And so I took some Cheetos out of my bag <laughs> and awkwardly put them in his bag. And he just looks at me and he goes, there, now we're Cheetos brothers. And he wow. walks away. What wow. the fuck? What the fuck is right? Yeah, man. I almost said, what the fuck, fuck. Steven Spielberg? <laughs> that's exactly it. I thought y'all were having Cheeto sex for a second. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> well, that's the only thing I've ever heard is like Eskimo Brothers and all that kind of disgusting stuff. But uh, the Cheetos Brothers I had never heard of in my entire life. Yo. But I am, but hey, Steven Spielberg is my Cheetos brother. Man, okay. DJ Mill, you made it, son. All right, you made it. Celebrate. Let me hear you some. <laughs> <laughs> some marching in yeah, yeah all right there it yeah, is man, we got shane that is literally the only thing i can play was that when the saints come marching in you better believe it or, or some version of it okay <laughs> we got not a, if you have to ask not a very good version <laughs> okay. of it I don't know. The shirt's throwing me off. It was All either right, that okay. or a cover of a Bruno Mars song. Nobody's exactly oh, sure. <laughs> Shane, what up? We got Shane on the line from San Diego. What up, Shane? Shane. Oh, yeah, sweetie. Yeah, 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 you big Shane. <laughs> oh, had to be. Yo, what up? Yeah, I think. I can't believe I got through. Yeah, man, you hit the lotto, baby. Say what up to T.J. Miller. Yeah, what up, T? 
<laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? You ever heard slide trombone like that, buddy? I know, I know. Did you, you, you can't believe that you got through and you got a little bit of slide trombone in there. Oh. I can't, I can't believe that uh, that San Diego got like a little bit of love. I know y'all from O-Town, but damn. Yeah, yeah. man. You, <laughs> you like one of the worst callers. <laughs> <laughs> Never, uh, man. No, I, I gotta yeah, say, man. you're my favorite caller. Okay, oh, TJ said shit. you is. But favorite. you're also the only caller that I've heard on this stage. All right, so right now you in first place, Shane. Okay. Yeah, first place. Okay, no problem. But let's go into uh, move you to second place in a second, man. Right. Damn, Callaway. He had no question for Shane. Shane's, Shane's, Shane's gonna go. He's gonna go see Ready Player One. He hit him with the warrant, warrant. I know. I had to. Yeah. Okay. He Hang says, him up, man. He won't. He's a caller that won't go nowhere. Blow the whistle. <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, damn. I love it. Oh, right, man, I'm a one man band. <laughs> that whistle came out of nowhere. Texas, we got Nathaniel on the line. What up, what up Nate? Hey, Nate. Hey, what's going on? What up? Hey, it's Nathaniel J. Davis. Hey. Hey. I, love, I, love, I, love, I love you. TJ Give us Davis. your address. Love you, Nathaniel. And also your social security yeah, man. Hey, hey, y'all are fucking badass, man. Fucking, uh, I love Deadpool. Yeah, hey, Deadpool 2, the trailer just show. dropped today. Yeah, I think it's gonna be yeah, great, yeah, man. Fine, man. When you see the trailers yeah, yeah, drop, yeah. do you do you like literally count money in your bank account? Because you know no, it's gonna. You know what? We make so much less money. People are like, "Oh, the Emoji Movie." You know, you just did that to get paid, and it's like you get a minimum wage in terms of the union for something like that. You actually do do animated films for the kids. Sometimes you can get if they if they do really really well, like uh, How to Train Your Dragon Frozen, one did, like then that. yeah yeah, then you get a little bit of money. Big Hero Six though, you know, there's there was no kickback from that. It's like it won an Academy Award. So no, when I see the trailers drop, I'm not counting money. I'm just looking at my Byzantine chain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking in the mirror in the chain trying to act hard. <laughs> what kind of cut is that? That, what? The, the, your chain. What is it? This is a Byzantine link. A yeah. Oh, okay. And then uh, my wife, I got a Byzantine chain. Hers was hollow, ten karat gold. Mine's fourteen karat. Oh. Uh, but she didn't. She didn't like. She didn't like the link. The and so we, I got her. I got her a Chanel link. And uh, boy, that was a great night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Nathaniel yeah, I mean, knew what I'm talking about. Yeah, Nathaniel know what it is. And hey, we got Christian on the line from Florida. Christian, what up, man? Christian knows what it is. Hey, what's up? I thought I thought you guys went to Five Fingers of Death. I was like, oh my gosh, she's about to rap. <laughs> you want TJ Miller? You want him to rap? Yeah. I want what the dog beat on? <laughs> <laughs> TJ's like, I don't know. Let's see what happens, man. Let's see. We got the chain. The absolute realist. I know you're feeling this. When it comes to Byzantine, motherfuckers like me be mean. I've been mean since some motherfucking teen. East high. You know what it is. Stay high. When I eat pastrami, eat it on ride. Don't give a fuck. Now I'm Manhattan resident. And you know I stay motherfucking bent. Yeah. Don't give up shit for Lent. Don't believe in nothing, nowhere, nihilistic shit, yeah, I'm gonna twist this shit, you fuck it, is that enough of it, uh-huh. Oh! He jumped right on that shit. You like that? Hey, Christian, you like that? Yeah. <laughs> there, I sense a little bit of, yeah. Hey, Christian, what we got in here? The home of hyenas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a citizen. Christian, you a citizen. Man. Way in the morning. Christian's wow. like, stick to the trombone, TJ. Yeah, well, TJ, man, it, it don't even seem like 30 minutes went by. No. I got to ask one question. Okay, Come ask on. him a yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. I saw the movie already, and I bought this iRock because that's who you play in yeah, the yeah, film. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow, there's already a Pop Funko. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, check it you out. You don't get yeah. paid from when they do the action figures? How stuff? come I don't get any action figures? You can have that one. I think you deserve it. No, really? Come on. All right, I'll, fuck it, I'll take it. Yeah, take it, man. <laughs> My gift to you. I'm not. I'm only going to protest once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, free yeah, shit, quick. yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. So really? Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Yep, that that's is iRock. That's in the film. He deserves it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the the movie's going to be great. Deadpool 2 is going to be great. And then um, there's this movie. We don't have a release date for it yet. Wow, that's crazy. I haven't seen any of these yet. Um, we don't have a release date for it yet, but with Kristen Stewart, uh, I did this movie called Underwater, which is kind of in the Cloverfield genre, which just recently had both its uh, anniversary and Cloverfield Paradox mm -hmm. not have the greatest reviews. <laughs> um, but uh, Underwater is like another disaster movie where I use sort of the comedy within it. 
and it's um uh you know you got to catch that when it comes out. Did you hear that? That's trombone against uh, Byzantine Link. I heard that. I heard that sound. Hey man, oh, so we're close on the interview, man. I thought, I thought this is maybe- my Jesus piece. I wear the. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. The We're trombone, the trombone. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just hanging. I'm tripping all over it, walking around New York. With that shirt on. Yeah, with that shirt on. Like I said, I can only afford two shirts, man. I went in. I like I got, the under, underarm sweatpants. Well, I, he does all freebie. If it is. I, I, got, I got. It's true. I, I am dressed like a homeless person <laughs> who like found a blazer. Um, so I went. I got uh, an endoscopy, which is like I have acid reflux because I drink from morning till night. When I'm not working, and uh, and so I went in and and the anesthesiologist asked me all these questions and is like, you know, what kind of medications are you on? And then he was like, I'm sorry, have you have you had anything to drink today? And I was like, no. And he's like, I just I smell alcohol. And he turned to the nurse and he's like, do you smell alcohol? And she's like, yeah, there's a really strong smell of alcohol. And then I had to be like. Um, I've been wearing this shirt for like three or four days and, uh, I spilled beer on it two days ago and they were like, okay, all right, all right, we'll, we'll do, we'll do the procedure. But that's, yeah, I got to start changing my clothes. Yeah, man. <laughs> stay married. You know what I mean? Say, yeah, exactly. You know I mean? Change your clothes. Stay married. You know what I mean? <laughs> TJ Miller, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks guys. And thanks for the pop. One. Look at this. Yeah, thanks yeah. for the on rock pop. Absolutely, man. man. You guys are the best. You're the best, man. t Gut, we want to thank DJ t Gut for coming by today. Also, we want to thank Mark Hamill for coming by. Yeah, yeah I met big. him. That, that was, was crazy. That's crazy. He's so cool. And then on the, so cool. the, the artist Annoyed, who got the new project, Blame It on Jay-Z. You can follow him at Living Annoyed. Thank him for coming by as well. We're going to post his five fingers up today. Amazing. And my freestyle album drops in 2045, <laughs> April. April 24, 2045. Hey, that's when Ready to Play One takes place. Uh-huh. That's right. Oh. It's all cross promotion, man. Trivial voice. Trivial voice. I'm, I, the, I'm all about the Emoji Movie and Yogi Bear 3D. You guys know that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yogi Bear <laughs> Kitty. Hey, man, thank you, brother. You're killing it, man. Thank you're you killing so the game, much, brother. Seriously. Killing the game, thank you, man. thank you, thank you. All right, Heather, how can they reach you real at quick? The happy Hour, WHB. Twitter, Instagram, at it's Tracy G, I T S T R A C Y G. Follow me. It's really DB everywhere. Check me out at OQ Shoots on the Instagram. Yeah. At DJ Wonder, Tracy, who turned gay? I, I, I missed out on your tease. What happened? <laughs> oh, that was Christina Aguilera's former lover. Who she wrote about on her album strip, the song Infatuation. Oh yeah, she was with somebody who turned out to be gay, but she didn't know it while she was with them. Kristen Stewart was dating one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my entire life when we were doing a movie together. So that's the new thing, gender fluid. She kept using Kristen Stewart kept using uh, heteronormative, and then I would be like, "What does that mean?" And heteronormative? She, yeah, and she would never explain it to me. She was like, "I'll explain it sometime when we're drunk, but I don't want to talk about it right now." I'm like, "Okay, whatever." <laughs> <laughs> you got pissed off. <laughs> got pissed off. Yeah, you did. I was like, I was like, what the fuck is this all about? Why don't you dance? She's like, see, you're acting heteronormative right now. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell it means. But she had a beautiful woman with her, though. I know. Yeah. She Ooh, she's with a supermodel. She's with a Victoria's Secret uh, <laughs> angel. Mm, Christian store. I gotta hang out with Christian. She looked like she got game though. Yeah, yeah she's she cool. Too. You know yeah. what? She really does have swagger. Like yeah. she's kind of gangster. Yeah, Seriously, yeah. she got that. You can see it on the screen too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that, yeah. And she's, she's good. She's really, really good. Man, TJ, thanks for coming through, man. Get some thanks, rest guys. Too, man. Hey, TJ. you keep giving me pop figures. Yeah. I'll keep coming back All forever. Right. Okay. You guys are listening to my trombone and my freestyle. <laughs> yeah, man, you killed that too. How can people reach you on social? Uh, at not TJ Miller's Twitter, teenage millionaire, which is how I dress. Okay, is on Instagram. <laughs> Instagram and <laughs> TJ Miller does not have a website.com is all the tour dates. I'm on a national tour through August. I'm doing stand up, uh, Ready Player One, Deadpool Two, Underwater, How to Train Your Dragon Three. Um, guys, I love you guys. Yeah, I love I you really too, really man. Do. You should love your agent too, man. Jesus. Yeah, I do. <laughs> My God, I do. I'm, CAA. I'm, okay. Fuck a bunch of WME. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, fuck Ari Emanuel and that whole crew. <laughs> what happened with that, man? Man, I just fired those idiots. <laughs> Be a boss, yeah. Yo. They were Sometimes trying, you gotta yeah, do they that. were trying to get me to do Mike and David need a wedding date or something like that. It was either that or Deadpool. I wonder if I made the right choice. You did your thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, so I'm at Real Sway across the board, ladies and gentlemen. Go to Sway's University. See all these wonderful interviews. You want to hear them back? Go to SiriusXM.com slash on demand. And until next time, we have nothing left to say. Oh.